is actually my fault. You oh, see? no, 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 no. You're just doing your job. That is disgusting. You take that back. I'm not taking anything back, especially you. I know I shouldn't be reading this, but I am. Um... Felicia's novel? It's about Dad, isn't it? He's having an affair with the woman you found him with on Cortland Street. Tammy called me, not you. So she memorized your cell phone number. She knows that if she doesn't call you once a day, you're going to call her three or four times and ask her what's wrong. You don't know what I call Tammy about. I'm going. Do you know how territorial you sound? Now, isn't that one of your flaws that you found in your searching moral inventory for N.A.? You cannot accept the fact that Tammy trusts me. She hurt her ankle. She called me. You're jealous. No, Monica's jealous. Now, try to overcome this attention span problem and concentrate. Tammy trusts you. Your wife doesn't. Not ten minutes ago, you were fretting that she was going to leave you because of what she thinks is going on between you and Tammy. Now, are you willing to pound the last nail into your marriage coffin just to go over there? You know, Monica, she's got spies at Kelly's. Just go take care of your shift. I'll take care of Tammy and the ankle, okay? Okay, that'll probably be best. I'll just tell her you went to work. Maybe we should stay out of this. Well, should? Well, yeah, of course we should, but you know, Tammy, if you're really Alan's friend... Stay out of what? Oh, jeez, girlfriend, are you trying to give us a heart attack? <laughs> hey, can't you see? We're plotting without me. <laughs> Alan Quartermain spent last night upstairs in Tammy's room. He was helping me get moved in, and he fell asleep on my couch. It was completely innocent. Well, yeah, but that's not how it looked to Monica when she knocked on Tammy's door this morning. Oh, I get it. So what's the salvage plan? Okay, so I call Alan. I tell him I did something awful to my ankle. And I call Monica, and I told her that Luke burned himself something awful in the kitchen. Oh, so they're both showing up for a medical rescue. <laughs> Didn't Monica call you and say, Bobby, you're a nurse. Is it really that bad? Oh, please. Doctors don't ask nurses for advice. Oh, okay. Mm. So then they both show up, they come to blows, they break some dishes, and then they both still realize they're madly in love with each other. Wait a second. Nobody here said anything about breaking dishes. <laughs> <laughs> well... I think it's virtually foolproof. Mm. See, I told you. Alan and Monica are meant to be. And we know this because... They really need to hate each other in order to break up the monotony. This will work. Trust me. Felicia, have I ever been wrong? Okay, okay, okay. But this will work. <laughs> <laughs> That is a novel of fiction, which means it's not true. Dad's having an affair with the woman on Cortland Street, just like in the book. He's cheating on Mom, and that's why he won't come home. <laughs> Emily, come on. You saw Alan in his drugged-out days? He was hardly passion's plaything, if you know what I mean. Oh, come on, Ned, please don't do that. Please, don't, don't sugarcoat the awful things that are going on under my nose and tell me I'm right when I'm wrong and I'm wrong when I'm right. That's what AJ and Carly and Grandfather do and it makes me want to burn down the house with them in it. You said I could come here after school if I wanted to and, and I did. But I'm glad you did. Because it's a lot easier than, you know, having to rescue them from uh, the flames and dealing with the insurance company and... <sighs> Rebuilding the entire house of horrors from scratch. I appreciate that. Okay. Here's what I think. 
and here is what's possible. What I think is that Alan, even on drugs, is always Alan, which means he has to help people. And in this case, poor Tammy was elected. Tammy? Tammy as in the manager of Kelly's? Me and my big mouth. Yes, I think that he helped Tammy into that job just like he helped himself into that murder charge on her account. Needlessly, as it turned out. Well, you read the book. Now, what I think is possible is... Okay, maybe Alan did or does have something more than just wishful thinking going on with her, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't love Monica madly. And I am not sugarcoating things. That's just the way they are, as you've seen for yourself. But why? Why are they that way? I mean, most people who, who love each other, they, they show it in a beautiful way. I mean, look at Lucky and Liz. Well, first of all, Lucky and Liz have been in love, what, 10, 15 minutes? Oh, come on, Ned, that's not fair. <sighs> There's no one way to be in love. And trust me, I've tried five or six. And as gruesome as it may appear to the rest of us, you can have faith in Monica and Alan's way. Because they always work things out. Tammy? No. Tammy's not here. No, I know she's here. Of course she's here. She's busy. She's injured and needs help. Is she upstairs? I told you that. Tony, go back where you came from. What is the matter with you? Where's Alan? Tony! Okay, obviously there's some kind of underhanded scheme here to lure Alan and, and Monica too. Well, you know, they're having this teeny tiny little problem. And it's all my fault because you see, he's... Say no more, say no more. Is he calling? I don't know, what are you doing? Oh, don't tell Tony. Me. Don't tell Tony, me. don't. Val? Val, yes, it's, it's Tony. Uh, is Alan there? No. Don't tell okay, him. Okay, fine, uh, yes, I need to talk to him. Alan. Uh, yes, uh, you're going to have to get Mark or someone to take your place right now and get over to uh, Kelly's and treat Tammy. Y yes, I got paged, and I'm not going to be able to make it. That's unless, of course, you don't remember how to treat a sprain. Don't get huffy. Okay, bye-bye. Yes. It's only going to hurt for a moment. Come on. Thank you. Uh, what? Thank you. Come <laughs> on.